I shared a dream I had last night in my other videos I uploaded today, which were really just for my YouTube accounts. And But I wanted to share this other dream I had last year. And this dream was these men were going around with guns and they were shooting all the Christians. And I happened to be in these apartments and they were just going door by door, step by shooting and killing all the Christians. When they got to me, they came inside. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Let me just get some air real quick. Let me get some. And they was like, all right, well, you know. So as soon as they let, they let me out, somehow I ran, just started running downstairs and ran across the street. Now, and actuality i should have got shot because i'm sure they were shooting in the dream but in the dreams when they be after me and stuff like that um whether it's after my life or just trying to harm me i don't never get hurt i never get harmed not because i'm a superhero or invincible because it's not my time yet and the dreams be showing me that that it's danger death all around but god is protecting me for one, I'm covered under the blood, I'm saved, I serve God, and it's not my time yet. And it's not just for sinners to be like, oh, you can't go nowhere unless it's your time. No, I'm in the will of God. Uh, so I'm covered under the blood. You can't just touch a child of God. You can't just kill, rape, or anything a child of God unless God allows it. You can with a sinner because they are not on safe territory. They're not covered under the blood. they just under grace for everybody. Like the grace as far as he said he'll have mercy on who he chooses. So it's grace if they get kept. But when you truly serve him, it's a covenant that you're under. And it's the blood covenant. The devil can't just mess with you unless God allows. He can't just take your life because you are actually serving him. And you feel the Holy Spirit in heaven. So in this dream, um, they should have, when I was crossing the street, and when I made it across the street, and it was these dogs, and I hopped over. You know, they should have shot me. I should have been gone, but I made it. But that was because God had kept me. It wasn't my time yet. In another dream, it was this bear and this lion. They got loose in this college campus or something because I was in there we was fussing it was about to be a fight or something then this bear came in or this lion or something it's crazy it sound it's real two bears had got loose in this on the campus or whatever and then um I had turned around and a bear came in and had killed somebody upstairs so we heard the noise and we started running and then um the bear was chasing us or something we was all running and I had turned on this corner and um I felt something I was scared and I was like it's a lion or something it was a, a lion's head got loose too we was, we was trying to run or something it was a van or something but somehow I got out the van and hid and the lion turned the corner where I was hiding by myself and I was just hiding I thought I think I was calling on Jesus in the dream I was praying and everything and that lion literally said out of his mouth in the dream just a real lion in the dream he turned the corner where I was hiding he said I ain't even gonna try to mess with you and then he turned right back around <laughs> I was terrified I was scared um no cap no lie no um I'm human I'm terrified like anybody else um in these situations, you're going to be terrified whether you had the Holy Spirit or not. But what I'm saying is that dream was this spiritual uh, metaphor that God is protecting me. And that the devil can't just mess with you when death comes. And um, when people ain't covered under the blood, ain't covered under Psalms 91 because they not serving him. Everybody like to quote it, but everybody ain't serving him. So everybody's truly not under the blood covenant. Everybody like say, oh, I'm covered under the blood. Even when they live in alternative lifestyles, it's not true. That's just grace if you kept because you living on the devil's territory. When you're on the devil's territory, he can take your life anytime. But even then, God can still say no because at the end of the day, God is still in control. He going to see said, I have mercy on who he chooses. But the way you're really protected is again when you are serving him, when you're covered, when you're born again, when you have the Holy Spirit in his blood. When I see the blood, I will pass over. That's what he told the children of Israel. That's what he tells us when we are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. So. And, and I just, I remembered that when I woke up, because I'm telling you, a bear had just killed somebody upstairs, some young people, um, then we started running, then we found out it was bears and lions, it was like two bears and two lions or something, running through the campus or something like that, and I had turned the corner, I was scared, I was praying, that lion turned, man, he turned, he looked at me, he talked, he said, I ain't even gonna try to mess with you, then he turned back around, you can't just mess with a child of God, if you do, it's only so much that God allows, it's only so much, it's only so much, and so, like, when I was telling y'all about that dream I had, I'm not going to go into that because it's different people listening. You don't have to listen, look at it for yourself. Um, but um, what, else, what was I saying? I want to get back to that first dream I was telling y'all from last year when they was persecuting Christians. Right now, in America, Christians, we have the liberty to serve God, to go to church. It's going to come a time where our faith is really tried, just like in the book of Revelations, where they're going to start persecuting us. They're doing it now in the other countries, you know, in China, persecuting Christians in Nigeria, um, in the Arab countries. But it's going to kill them past. It's killing Christians. They got to meet underground. It's going to come a time where they're going to start persecuting American Christians. And that's what's going to separate 
the wheat from the tares. That's when you're going to find out who really is serving Jesus. Even the Bible says it. Let he who goes to captivity go. Who, whoever uses the sword, go to the sword. Who goes to fame, you're going to really be tested. And we gonna be, y'all be like, we're going to be protected. It's going to be a lot of martyrs too. People going to die. You have to, he said, if you suffer with me, you're going to reign for me. It, it's going to come a point where you may have to lose your life and be a martyr for Christ. And you have to remember, he said, if you suffer with me, you will reign with me. So the point is to get right with Jesus now, because there is a time coming where persecution is coming for the church and for true believers, true born again believers. And you can't be scared of dying. I didn't deny Jesus in the dream. I just said, I ain't trying to die yet. Um, Because they had, uh, when they came in there to shoot us, they already knew I was Christians. I was like, okay. You know, I'm like, okay, I know y'all finna shoot me, but let me go get some air real quick. I was trying to trick them. I was, I was like, hey, no, I ain't trying to die right now. So, but it, when that time really comes and it's our time, if God says it's our time, then we got to go. Then if, again, if you suffer with Christ, you're going to reign with him. You have to be bold. I ain't saying be stupid now. If you know somebody shooting Christians up the street, call the police, tell somebody to get out of there. But if it comes a point where somebody sticks a gun to your head and be like, do you love Jesus? Are you a Christian? You got to be like, yes, you can't deny him. So you have to be bold for Christ. God bless y'all. Um, and again, you can't just touch a child of God. The devil can't just touch your life. He can't just do it without the permission of God. Sometimes we die before our time because of health reasons and stuff like that. That don't necessarily mean it was God's will. But when it comes to murder and all that, those he can't just do you any kind of way like a regular sinner that's not under or in the will of God. I don't mean he don't love them, but they're not serving him. They're not in the will. They're not in the covenant, in the family. He still love them, but they got to submit their life to him. They didn't. They under the devil's covenant. The ways of sin is death. To get the eternal life is Christ. To get the what? Isn't that right? To get the eternal life is Christ. Something like that. Something like that. It, it, the sin, death. Okay, sin, death. Christ's life. When you serve in Christ, you get to live eternally. And He also protects you from premature death, murder, rape, all these different things. Now, I ain't saying some Christians, but it, it might be some Christian that got raped. But most of the time, you know, He'll keep you from those things when you're serving Him. Um, nine times out of ten, if He allows it to happen, He got purpose. Even in that, it's not His will that it happens. But I remember this Christian young lady sharing her testimony that she had got raped. And they was telling her to abort her child. And she said, no, she didn't believe in it. You know, and she did the godly biblical thing and kept the baby. You know what I'm saying? And now she talks about how she's, um, she's forgiven that person. She's a Christian. You know, she loves the Lord. And I'm assuming she's raising her child up in Christ. And she talks about how she forgave him and how she did what God would want her to do. And that's keep the child. She was like, even though I didn't want to be raped and that wasn't God's will, I knew the baby didn't have anything to do with it. You know, we like, we like to say, well, if you're raped, that's an excuse to commit abortion. No, it's not because God said, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb. That's what he said to Jeremiah, the prophet or Isaiah, the prophet, one of them. It don't matter if you're a prophet, a speaker, a drummer, a usher. He know you, whoever you are. You could be a bum on the street. He knows you before your mama meets your daddy. He knows that you're coming in this world. So if a woman makes a decision to kill a baby, that's murder because God He's the one, even though you created the act of sex, whether it's in marriage or not, he's the one that sends the spirit. The spirit, a lot of people can have sex and no child comes, you know, but when a child comes, that means God actually took the time to send an assignment. He sent his spirit. I don't care how the child was conceived. And sadly, even in situations of rape, that's not his will. He going to deal with that person that rape is if they don't repent. But if he sends his spirit. Even in the darkest times, he has a purpose for that life being there. And you're going to have to answer to him if you never repent and if you think it's okay to have abortions. Because it's not. It's murder. And one thing, it's not just murder. It's an abomination. One of the seven things that God hates. Six things are an abomination. Yea, seven things he hates. Feet that run swiftly to mischief. A lying tongue. A false witness. Hands that shed innocent blood. Abortion. And... Two of them dealt with lying, um, feet that run swiftly to mischief, you run into a fight, you run into seeing somebody got killed, you run into that thing you ain't got no business looking at, hands that shed innocent blood, and I forgot the other three. So just be encouraged, um, if you haven't, give your life to Christ, because you rather die with Christ than to die without him, for sure, hell is not where you want to be when he's given eternal life. And Christians, be strong. If you have to be a martyr, you got kids out here dying for gangs and going to hell forever. And they willing to die and lose their soul, whether they know it or not, for a street, for a block. Because they love those people that they are in those gangs. With. How much more when we have the truth and we have Jesus Christ. So if that time comes and you have to make a decision or somebody's threatening your life based on God or your faith in Jesus Christ, 
Make the right choice. Do not deny him. He said, if you deny me, I will deny you. Choose Christ and get right with him while you can. Sinners, those that are not born again, because we were all born into sin. But once we are born again, no goodness of our own, his faith makes us save his, um, his spirit and then our belief in him. Um, but also, um, yeah, please give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Escape hell. Um, these dreams be spiritual, y'all. When you are covered in the blood, when you serve him, there is protection, extra protection. I'm not saying that if somebody come up to me and slap me, I'm not going to feel the pain. He's going to let you go through a serious. He's going to even let you go through some persecution that other people don't go through. I've been through a lot of persecution. I've been fired, kicked out the army and all that. So you already know my life ain't perfect. But look how he be turning stuff around. Even when people be trying or even when I get in trouble and have to face some consequences or even when people mean wrong and don't really have to consequence it that way, but they do it, he do it anyway. He do it anyway so he can, um, even when we fail him or when we do stuff we shouldn't do or even when people take it to the stream, he still show his glory if we humble ourselves. Give your lives to Jesus. There's extra protection in serving him. You can't just touch a child of God. Get right with God while you have time.